I grew up in Dubbo in a loving family of six and uh, when I was 11 it was discovered through a routine primary school hearing test that I actually had quite a significant hearing loss. I often just felt so isolated. I'd be sitting there on the, on the fringe thinking, what are they talking about? I've got no idea. It came to a head when I was 21 and I just realised that it probably wasn't going to get any better. It was just going to get worse. I couldn't see any way out and so I actually considered suicide. I wrote my mum a letter. She read that letter and then came to me and said, we'll work through this together. You don't have to be alone. It changed my life, that decision to accept and be open about it. So I started to go to lip reading classes. Then I went to some sign language classes and learnt to sign. But it still wasn't quite enough. I was feeling like I'd, I'd made some steps towards hearing better. I had um, hearing aids, and but I was worried that if I decided to have children, children are very hard to hear and they don't face you when they speak. So I decided to go ahead with surgery when I was 29 and it was life changing as well. At first it sounded like an alien language and I would just listen and hear nothing but jumble and then suddenly I would hear one word out of that. So with my husband we would, um, he would read to me and I would just listen and hear nothing but jumble. We were sitting together, we were chopping vegetables in the kitchen and he said something facing down and I answered. And we both stopped what we were doing and just looked at each other and I said, I heard you. And he was like, wow. I didn't think um, it could get much better after that, but I was wrong again. I decided to get a new hearing aid and I realised that the ReSound hearing aid would connect up with my cochlear implant um, through the wireless accessories. So I decided to get one. I'd heard that it had been, it was good and I thought well, I'd just give it a go. But nothing quite prepared me for how good it was. So a work colleague had said to me, you should try this wireless accessory. He gave me the multi-mic and I plugged it into my laptop, paired it all up and I was at work, I pressed play, an old song that I used to like, which was um, Coldplay, Yellow, sat back and then all of a sudden this sound, this music just filled my whole head, two ears at once, so clear, I actually broke down in tears. It's really easy to pair um, my cochlear implant with the ReSound hearing aid with the multi-mic. So you just um, press a button when it's on, turn on your um, ReSound hearing aid, turn on the cochlear implant, and then it connects. It's that simple. One really cool um, thing about the ReSound hearing aid is that it can, um, you can control it through your iPhone. Uh, and that was a big thing for me because I really hate carrying around remote controls. With the phone clip, I connect it to my, um, my landline at work. So it's um, connected by Bluetooth. And when the phone rings, or if I need to make a call, it goes directly into two ears, it shuts out all the background noise, and I can hear almost perfectly. One of the big changes has been being able to localise um, where sound is coming from. Often I would be saying to my son, what, where's that noise coming from? And he'd say, it's over there, mummy. But now, because I've got the two ears, I can, I can work it out and I feel a lot safer when I'm walking around. One other thing that um, I find really useful that I've discovered, I sometimes still have trouble hearing my kids in the back of the car. But one day I gave my son Arlen, who's five, the multi-mic and just attached it to his lapel and he was chatting away to me in the back of the car. And it's really sweet. He, sometimes I'll hear him whispering into it, I love you, mummy. So it's great.